You know what I was thinking? What? I was thinking. Wait, with, hold on. With, can think. I can. Wow. Sometimes. Not all the time. Wow. But with all of the neck kissing and the history of Bollywood cinema, <laughs> why aren't there more hickeys? It's just kissing, not sucking. Oh! Yes. Start sucking, people! <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks of Corbin. I suck. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to our sports on Patreon. Follow us to account, subscribe, like, button. Yeah. And welcome to Spooky Month. Scared? If you don't know, in America, at least, October is Spooky Month. Yep. Most people, a lot of people, at least, like to watch spooky, scary ish style movies Spooky for the sake of October dookie. Halloween. Yeah. We know it's not really a thing in India. But we like to do it. Uh, Very much. And so uh, the first one we got to, we got to it a little late because obviously we were at the Indian Film Festival. We had other stuff we wanted to get to. Um, but uh, we're trying to get to some of the kind of spooky style films that we haven't got to um, yet. You go see our previous ones. We've seen quite a few. Quite a few. Uh, this one uh, was one that has been recommended a, long, a lot, and it's from the 2002 film Raz. <laughs> Sorry, movie review. It's all right. They know. We know. Uh, I just like going. The drama horror musical, uh, which I would describe Rocky Horror as. I was that. just going to say the same thing, yeah. <laughs> but. It's different in India. Yes. Um, but it's directed and... Oh, sorry. Uh, you were going to say written by... It, it was it's not. It's, not. it's directed by Vikram Bhatt, written and produced by Mukesh Bhatt. Uh, Mukesh, I know, is Alia's father. Vikram, I'm um, assuming, is... The writer is Mahesh Bhatt. What did I say? Oh! Yeah. Just throw me off yes. here. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, geez. Understandable. Okay. So yeah. Those look like the exact same it's, name. Uh, uh, three bots. For the price of one. Okay, so... The, I, can, I, I, know, I know it's... Uh, hold on, they look similar. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if Mahesh or Mukesh is her father. Are they twins? <laughs> they look kind of similar. They look kind of similar and the name is similar. I think her father is Mukesh. They look similar. Are they twin brothers? Regardless, it'd be it's, great if they weren't related at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, directed by Vikram Bhatt, written by Mu- Mahesh Bhatt, and produced by Mukesh Bhatt. Uh, and I don't believe Ali's in it at all. Unless she, uh, was she even alive? Was it 2000? That's 20. Yeah, she was definitely alive. Uh, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Starring uh, s- these three. Say their name for me. Yes. Dino Morea, Bipasha Basu, and Malini Sharma. Thank you. Um, but obviously this came out in 2002, so it's going to be 100% spoiler review. Correct. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. I don't yes. know where it's available in India. They have availabilities different other places than we have them. But With a, uh, res- with a, with a, with a supporting role... We will bring up as well of yes. uh, Ashutosh. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 Rana. yes, yes. But anyways, so if you haven't watched, please go watch. Come back because we hundred cents spoiler review. Rick, your initial thoughts of the two thousand two horror film Roz. Roz is dreadful in all of the right ways. I went from liking the movie because it was so campy and reminded me of like 1970s horror, horror movies here yeah, in Hollywood that sure. just was like, okay, I'm in. It's so bad in so many great ways. Mm-hmm. And then the second half, <laughs> I have so much good to talk about this movie. I loved Roz. Oh, really? Yeah, where, I loved it. <laughs> where, where would it fall for you in the in, in your horror, well, for it, India specifically? Yeah, obviously. well, it's for me, it's, it's a, it's a, it's gonna be in my list of horror movies period that I recommend. I've been making some recommendations on my Instagram that kind of got interrupted with some things that are happening globally. I don't know if you've heard about them. And <laughs> the, the, I, I'm intending to, to, to recommend this this week before it gets too late and we're too close to Halloween, at least ten different films that I would recommend. This this is right up there for me of my favorite horror films that have mm-hmm. hit Indian cinema for us and all cinema for me. This is like classic, campy. You're gonna groan because some things are so bad, but 
they're endearing because you know the effort at the time was as intentional to be as good as possible. It's just I. Yeah. I love a lot of things about. It. I particularly love the sexiness of this movie. Oh yeah, I'll talk sure, a talk a lot about that sure. and talk about our two ladies. But uh, what do you th what do you think? I enjoyed it. I thought, especially for the time, I know this actually inspired. Um, I, there was a little obviously horror before this, just sprinkled in through Bollywood. Um, but after this, obviously, this has about ten thousand um, sequels. Rather. Does it? Yes. Not it, it did. I heard it was the second biggest film of the year. Yeah. In in um, Hindi cinema, but it definitely inspired a Indian lot cinema. more horror genre Good. in Bollywood Good. after two thousand two. Good. Um, yeah, it's it, a classic. To it does. It does have uh, a bunch of that. There's uh, and I thought there was some really really good stuff in terms of some performances. Also, some, I thought the production um, production quality and the kind of tone of the film I really enjoyed. Uh, the, for the, that also goes into production. Uh, I thought it was really nice. There's some moments, especially at the end. That, yeah, that I'm like it goes off the rails. No way. I <laughs> love it. Because, uh, and it's uh, a lot of those are specific for the time of for India specifically uh, of why they do certain things and blah blah blah. Uh, and I'll get into that more. But yeah. overall, I actually thought it was very good, especially for in India. Like I said, it wasn't scary, uh, but I thought at least in terms of a lot, it had some good jump scares yeah. with sound. But in terms of like a imagery, I thought it was very good. Yeah, in terms of uh, it'd be up there with uh, the Indian horrors of Boot and 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 other ones that that I really enjoyed. And I thought for Indian horror, it it it. Did a very, especially for it being basically at this time, um, kind of the the one that was leading the way for the new versions of Bollywood horrors. Yeah, and and Drani before I watched it, because um, she's seen it. Yeah, all she told me beforehand was, "You're gonna like it." Mm -hmm. And I was messaging her because she was away. She was in Northern California for a day at a wedding, and and. Uh, we were texting each other as I was watching it, and she just replied because I was texting her nonstop, and she said, "I told you you're gonna like it." <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and actually, uh, let's talk about the performances first. Yes, um, all of them. I believe this was their first. Actually, yeah, it was not Bapasha's first film; it was her first leading role. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, uh, but regardless, they were a lot of them, the th three specifically were yeah um, very new. Yeah, uh, very in in what they were doing, and you saw that at times. Uh, in terms of like, um, especially when there was any kind of like heightened emotion, you saw them like kind of reaching. Oh, but it's... talk about Scream Queen! Oh yeah, and and she had... exhausting. I mean, it's really difficult for any actor, let alone someone who came from modeling, and this is your first leading role. To you're spend... talking about a, a yeah, Bapashu, Bapashu. to spend sixty five percent of your time on set. Be scared. Yeah. Be, be more scared. Yeah. Uh, and I thought like she has great screen presence, uh, uh, great eyes. Um, I could, I could. W w she's one of the most beautiful women we've seen yeah. on film, as far as I'm concerned. She, uh, I found her to be absolutely gorgeous. I thought she did a really good job. The, the all of them had their moments of when it was like they needed to show a little more emotion. That I'm like, you could see their newness as a new terminology for me. That. I want to talk. I would love to talk to him more about, but from Raul Bose, yeah, yeah, yeah. the the pitch yeah, they were yeah. at, yeah, and the different pitches they they hit. But as new actors, you don't know that, right? You're just like you you take or you give what you think, and right. you tell do what the director tells you to, right, right, right. Um, but overall, especially when it was just like, just she did a lot of just staring, right? Yeah, and she was very while staring. having to react at things that she's not seeing. Obviously, exactly. very green screen yeah. for the day. You yeah. know, uh, yeah. I thought she did a very good job. I did too. The other leading lady, yes, Malini the, Sharma, uh, Malini Sharma, who played the evil spirit. Once again, this is hundred percent early. Came out twenty years ago. Yeah, um, yeah. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I thought, then come back and watch. I thought she did a very good job. So I, I really enjoyed her performance. So did I. <laughs> um, I love the ladies were the killers for oh, me, man. For sure. They were they're the reason to watch it. No, no offense to the guys because the guys were good, yeah. but the ladies were the ones leading the way on this thing yeah she did a very good job um one playing it's a great story too uh kind of this evil spirit slash mentally ill person 
Um, but also giving off extreme sexy vibes and both ladies. Um, they they both had really really nice screen presence uh, on screen. I, I I enjoyed both their performances. The definitely the standouts. Of yeah, the, movie the for, notes for I performance. notes I wrote down particularly about uh, Bapasha. The moment when he comes home and she's got Malini inside of her. Mm-hmm. And she's possessed in that moment. She reaches her hand out to him in the bedroom. And he's like, what's going on? I'm going to read a quote that she says. But I I wrote down and I texted my wife. I said, there hasn't been a sexier possessed woman on screen since Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters, man. (laughs) When I was a kid and I watched Ghostbusters, I saw Sigourney Weaver. I'm like, I think I want a spy woman with an evil spirit in her to seduce me because she was so damn Bill, I was like Bill Murray what are you doing that's what I call my but here, penis here you go you ready evil spirit evil spirit <laughs> here's a quote that she's saying to him and then he doesn't take her up on it moron I screamed at my screen I said you idiot she says for ages this dry parched earth hasn't had a drop of water <laughs> yeah I remember this. tonight however it will see a storm don't say anything just listen to me let the fires rage let me be charred are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding? Even when her face changes and he gets scared, I don't care. Stay right there. Yeah. Uh, My goodness, that she, was great. Yeah, she was great. A lot of sex, for, especially for 2002, uh, right? Well, we noted, and it lived up to the expectation, when we watched that music number from it where yeah. she licks the water on oh, his yeah. chin. Very sexy. It's like, if the rest of the movie's got that, and it did... Very sexy movie. That's yeah. one of my favorite things about it is how sexy the movie is. Um, for sure, uh, I thought the guy did did well. You could once again see his newness uh, with with some of the scenes for sure. Yeah, he I, wasn't as strong as the females, but I thought he did well. I couldn't separate whether or not I disliked him because he wasn't as strong as they were, though he was fine, or just the character himself. Yeah, from the get go, not a likable character, not a likable guy, and Obviously. just continually proves it throughout. And then at the end, <laughs> when she's taking the high moral ground as it were to save him I, th- I i was thinking to myself yeah why why yeah that that is why let him go be with the woman he had an affair with and who that, cares that was my biggest gripe with yeah i didn't like that uh was the ending because it, it, once again that what i said at the beginning it's very bollywood for the time somebody needs a redemption arc uh even if they absolutely shouldn't and also the, the random ass clapping for the girl that they had no idea what she even did but they were clapping down the hallway it's for, so bad i'm like why are you clapping for her? i know you don't know what she did it's so bad but uh, here's the thing so i was like when it was happening when he was driving and it caught me off guard that he went off right that like oh he, the crash yeah yeah that was like they just killed him, and I was like, "This is great! I love this!" And <laughs> it was two hundred feet on the rocks. I'm pretty sure the car doesn't have airbags. Yeah, and then you see him in the uh, hospital, not a scratch on him. Actually, he did have a light scratch. <laughs> well, she had a horrible wreck at the beginning with nothing happening to her. I think that was Malini taking care of the but situation. She didn't fall two hundred feet on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> with probably no airbag. But if you don't do that, then you can't have the ending you have, I Corbin. I didn't want them to have it. I think it would have been amazing. This is the ending. And once again, I know it's for the time. It's I get it, but I still hate it. Um, like, have him go off. He dies. And she still, she wants to, she was like, I st- even though he's an ass and he cheated on me. Uh, I want to get Melina. I still want to get her for, for killing and taking my husband. I must get prefer, revenge. I prefer... The purity of her getting Malini and burning her, I, it is, it is absolutely to you know, love your enemy, forgive your enemy is the high platform to take. Fuck that. But I very much was in in the position of my goodness, what he's done to her, uh, he, not just what he did to her, but but what he did to both these women. Yeah, was no. was abominable. He's he's a terrible Ugh. terrible guy. And I I loved I really enjoyed um the performance of I mentioned him at the very Ash- beginning of yeah of 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 Ashutosh uh, Rana. <laughs> yeah. 
He was as Agni. He was funny because he was either, like he was either really good so or he was insanely oh, up here. Like yeah. somebody was just whispering over here and he was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I exactly. <laughs> it was so great. And then I loved I loved the contacts, his eyes yes. when they changed after the electric lasso choked him and he became possessed and he's chasing him. And then I loved how it just went off the freaking rails. She's ramming him into the tree and blood is coming out of his mouth. And yeah. then he's okay and he's trying to hatch it these ladies and then the ladies are attacking him and then they chop off his freaking head i know and, oh. it was great i the, that part of the ending i really enjoyed uh and the imagery of the forest as well yes was was great it was great like, use of um, that and the, and the consistency of the scream like this had some of the the scariest imagery we've seen in indian cinema i loved her head turn in the car yeah head turn it looked great. also the blood coming from the chandelier was yes. great like in terms of like horror imagery this one had some of the best really good. we've seen from indian horror yes um which, like i said that's a different bar than obviously hollywood horror we've been doing it a lot longer we've kind of perfected that same way india's perfected like romance so. yeah <laughs> I, I, and i think it's comparable when you look at the fact that you know indian cinema and, and hollywood cinema is only two years two to three years apart when they started american cinema started in like 1910 and india started in 1913 so they started at the same time. Yeah. But the evolution of particular genres and styles of cinema are very different. And mm. and obviously Hollywood had a big had a, money as well. had had a much earlier start. Yeah. I think for its history and its time frame, this is absolutely the kind of horror film you would expect twenty years ago. Absolutely. It, it's it's what our horror films were like In the, forty years yeah, ago. Seventies and eighties. Yeah, absolutely. Is basically where this would be for us. Except for the Bollywood version of it, obviously. Oh, the, the, the songs. songs and which were great. Actually, I really enjoyed the songs and the happy ending for the because if this was Hollywood, he would not have a redemption arc. No, he would have been murdered. Yeah, or brutally like cut apart or no. possessed. It would be a dark which, ending of some which kind, which is what I I prefer. But mm -hmm. obviously, they needed. They was. I'm sure the producers were like, the audience wants her. To yeah save her husband for sure for sure and for him to have a redemption for some weird reason i don't <laughs> i still don't like that yeah and also we want them to clap down the hallway for this girl that they have no idea why she <laughs> like that was the funniest thing because i was like you do not know what she just did doesn't matter you were not you don't even know her <laughs> uh, i don't know why this hold on oh that light shouldn't be on yeah um sorry um but like it's a like the imagery, I, I really that's one of my favorite parts. I loved all the yeah. songs, yeah. were great. This is a great album by um Oh yeah. Beautiful music. Who is it? Some of it was just campy, some of it was really complex. There's a moment where she's where she's running through the forest and there's this piano piece going on underneath that's really fast and rapid that I thought I hope no one misses that because yeah. that's great composition under yeah. all this action. I think this would um and I, I, I struggle because we've seen some good ones, right? In terms of yeah. horror. And yeah. I, I don't include like Amis because even though that has, it's not like, I wouldn't consider that horror. It's just a creepy story, right? Yeah. Um, it's yeah. Not, it's it's, it's not more scary. drama than it is. Yeah. yeah. It's more drama that has some creepy elements to it, right? It's kind of like, you didn't see the platform, did you, from Spain? No. Yeah. It's kind of like the platform. The platform's disgusting, but yeah. I, it's it's drama, thriller, yeah. psychological. I'm more like, Something that's spooky, right? Right. In terms right. of spooky horror. Yeah. This would be up there. Yeah, because that, that doesn't include ghosts no. and the supernatural. Like Voot would be yes. probably still at the top. Yep. I love Perry. I thought Perry was I did great. too. It's really uh, but good. This would be in there. Um what else? Bull Bull. Oh yeah, Bull Bull. Even though that one's like I said, not Stree scary. is comedy horror. Comedy horror. I think yeah, that's it's a different still, genre. I still include it for me. It's a Halloween movie yeah. for me. I, I I but it's a it's a it's the same kind of film as like a young Frankenstein for me. It's yeah. it's it's more on the comedy side. Bollywood they don't they do actually comedy horror, I think, quite well. Yeah, they do. In terms of, and I think that's what they prefer. And obviously Tumbad, yes. Commercial. We've seen Tumbad. It's yeah. Oh, that would yeah, I, Tumbad would be probably number one. Way at the top. <laughs> that's <laughs> that one's kind of in a, a league of its own. Yeah. Um and uh, that one's still more drama folk horror. Yeah. It is. Uh, it, but the ending Oh yeah. That well, everything when you're going in there. I mean, you don't. It's got the suspense and the tension when you're going in and seeing that 
But if you, can, well, you haven't seen it, maybe so sh- go see it. That Marathi one was yeah, that was great too. We can consi- I want to remember the title of that one, the one we're in the f- within the field. Totally I'm gonna I want to I'm gonna make a list because that's one of the things in my recommendations of horror films. I've been making films that I've been watching here. They're not all Hollywood films. Some of them are French. Some of them are, are Korean. There's Japanese. Uh, I would like to make one post that'll have at least 10, and I think I could get 10 that are Indian. Uh-huh. My favorite Indian horror films of all time. I think I... I'm going to do that. Did something. So you could go to my Instagram and you could you could see my list. I think I posted like something on Twitter of my... I'm just trying to remember what I put as my... Okay, your list here. of favorites? This is, uh, what are your top Indian scary style movies? Mine, at least at the time. When was this? Uh, like a week ago. Oh, okay. Um, Recently. Stri, Boot, yeah. Bulbul, Tombad, Perry. Uh, it's called Lapa Chapi. That's the, the Marathi the one. Marathi one. Yeah. And I know there's others. Um, what about, where do you place, um, uh, I, I interchange the titles because I think the titles are similar. So, is Boot is, is the Rekha one. Yes. What's the name of the film that is just Manoj Bajpayee? Gaon. Thank you. Gaon. Gaon is another one for me that I include in classic Indian horror. Yeah. I um, I wouldn't be in my top five, but it would be... It'd be a, oh, also another one that I... I Did actually, you put Bobo? Yes. Okay. Another one I really enjoyed was 1920. Oh, that, yeah. It's that a beautiful was, one. It's very similar I, it's more, in terms it's of like, style. It doesn't immediately come to mind because it's so much more romance yeah. for me, but it is a beautiful... Thank you for reminding yeah, me of that yeah. one. I've, I forgot about that one. Dang, I gotta, I gotta go back and check uh, my but list. But then there's also the um, kind of the Malayalam one we saw last year. It was a newer. Um, I would also include the Malayalam one we saw this year. Actually, I just forgot about that um, with the Ouija board because I, I really oh, yeah. enjoyed that. But that's like comedy horror style. What, again. And, and what was the one? Um, what was the one with Radhika that had the intruder? That she's hallucinating and not oh, yeah. sure. Um, she was one. That the reason to watch that is Radhika Apte's performance. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, what was it called? See, we've we've seen quite a few. I'm actually surprised when we understood very early on that this is not a really popular uh, genre in terms of what producers make. Yeah, there's the percentage of good films that we've seen that fall into the genre is really really high. Yeah. Um, really high. The Malay movie saw was Boothika with um, the this guy year. From Kumba Langina. No, Th- that's the one with um, 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 Subin is what it, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm word. sorry. That's right. That's right. Which I actually probably would include because I really enjoyed that one. But um, the one last year. Would you year, put Death in the Gunge as a horror film? No. Okay. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, the one last year with uh, the kid from uh, Kumba Lanji Nights. With the, they're in the house and it's kind of haunted. Did I like it? Is that yeah, why no, I'm, we, I did? We both really enjoyed okay. that movie. Yeah, <sighs> I'm sure if I saw the thumbnail. Um, anyway, we digress. Yeah, but this one, uh, for what it it did for the genre in, in Bollywood, and also just overall, I thought it was really nice. Even though there's some just, just uh, stuff I really didn't like in the end. Not the end part, like. There's some the parts at the end part I really really enjoyed, uh, like the forest parts, but the like the redemption for the husband and the uh, him just falling and not dying 200 feet <laughs> under rocks, like that was like I was like no, do not let him survive that. I, do not let him survive. I that. think I think and I think the story is so good, yeah, that it could be modernized, and well I think it has been. It it not only could be modernized. It is a universal story. This story could be told anywhere at any time in any culture. And it 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 has the potential if it was remade in the right way. This story is so good that I think this could be uh, extraordinary if it was done in a in a new way with with the visual effects capacities we have Absolutely. and things of that nature. I know there's the story at, is fantastic. I know there's at least Roz two, Roz three. Um, and like I said, I don't know. I, I've not heard, I don't think I've heard anything that like was like great about them. Yeah. I know Indrani didn't say a thing about them. Yeah. 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 So no. I, I think it's like all the new saws. Like. And, and yes, for anybody who's wondering, because you know, my wife is Bengali. I, 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 she, she was born, um, um, in Delhi, I believe, but she was raised in Bengal, Bapasha. Mm. Um, so my, in fact, 
right in and around Indrani told me she was grew up in and around where Indrani oh, grew cool. up. Cool. Yeah, same part of Kolkata. Uh, there's a one that's directed Roz and Reboot. written by Vikram Bhatt uh, called Raz Reboot, um, and it's starring Imran Hashmi. Uh, which is cool. Huh. Uh, so yeah, I don't know anything about. Is that these. worthy? Is I mean, is it? Yeah, is yeah. that a, was that what I just said? A modernization of the Who story, knows, man. Uh, you guys, let us know. Obviously, let us know what other horror films that we should watch. Yeah, obviously for for this month, I would like to get to some. We're gonna get to ghost stories. Obviously, don't do not worry. Yeah. Um, because we told we that we didn't do it right after we saw right lust stories. L- lust stories. I was like. We should wait for Spooky Month. Yeah. It's ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be good. It would be good. Uh, but like what else uh, from the from the genre? I don't know if any are going to be like watch along worthy, but obviously we're, we, we we don't do just watch alongs. Obviously, we, we're still doing reviews. Just right. so you guys know, even though I know you guys love the watch alongs. Um, but I, I need to, when we do watch alongs, I like to make sure there's stuff that a bunch of people will enjoy for watch alongs because they take yeah. a lot of time. They, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's what? <laughs> It, would you, it's, would three you say hours it's, of filming, right? It's at least hours and hours. Of it's editing. A, it's at least ten times as long as us just watching and reviewing. Exactly for Corbin to, it, to at, put that work into at it. minimum. Yeah. Um. So uh, <laughs> I like to make sure the the films we do for watchlongs will appeal to more people. Absolutely. Uh, and, and for reviews, um, it could be anything. Obviously, yeah. Because much more likely we could get something. Absolutely. That's just whatever. Uh, but yeah, let us know what other horror from Hindi or other languages as well, Please. and what you think of Raz down below. Thank you.